This is problem 326, and we will find the total response of a damped system to harmonic motion. So we have the constant of the spring, which is 4,000 newtons over meters. We have the mass, which is 10 kilograms, and we have the constant of the damper, which is 40 newtons seconds over meter. They give us the initial conditions for position 0 0.1 and from velocity equals to zero. With the constant of the spring and the mass, we can calculate the natural frequency of the system, which is 20 radians over a second. We can also calculate the damping ratio, which is C over the critical damping, which is 2 square root of Km, and input the, the values, and we get a zeta of 0 0.1. It means that this is an under damped system. This is important because it gives us the shape of the homogeneous solution. We have the frequency of the forcing force, which is 10 radians over seconds, and that allows us to calculate the frequency ratio. The frequency ratio, R, is the forcing force over the the forcing frequency over the natural frequency, and this is 0 0.5. It means that we are under the resonance frequency, which is less than one, right? We can also calculate the damping frequency, which is the omega, the natural frequency times the square root of one minus zeta squared. That gives me a value of 19.8997. Notice that this value is less than the natural frequency, which is correct. Now we have all the parameters of the system, we can calculate the response of the system. Remember that the response of the system will be equal to the homogeneous response plus the particular response. The homogeneous response is due to the initial conditions, and since it's an underdamp system, is equal to the magnitude x0 times e to the negative zeta omega nt cosine of omega dt minus a phase angle. And now we have the particular solution, which is x cosine of omega t minus phi. Omega is the same frequency as the external force that is applied. Remember that the magnitude x of the particular force is the static deflection, which is F0 over k, multiplied by the magnification factor. To find x0 and the phase angle 0 from the homogeneous solution, we have to use the initial conditions. So what I'm going to do is substitute times equals zero in the total solution to find the x zero and phi zero. That gives me this expression right here, x zero e to the zero cosine of zero minus phi plus x cosine of zero minus phi. It means that the initial displacement is equal to capital X, which is the amplitude of the homogeneous solution, cosine of phi zero plus X cosine of phi. Now I have to find the initial velocity. I have to derive the total solution respect to T, and then that gives me the derivative of the first term, which is negative zeta omega n times e to the zero omega n t cosine of omega dt minus phi sub zero minus the derivative of the second term of the homogeneous solution, so it's x zero e to the zeta omega n t omega d sine of omega dt minus phi sub zero. That's a negative value because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And the third term will be the derivative of the particular solution, which is 
x phi sine of omega t minus phi. If I substitute that time by zero, I get the following expression. So the velocity will be equals to x zero minus zeta omega n cosine of phi zero minus the amplitude x zero omega d sine of zero minus phi. And then I have x, that is the amplitude of the particular solution, omega sine of phi. And that's equals to the initial velocity. The initial velocity is then equals to x zero times omega zeta omega e cosine of phi zero. That gives me a plus because sine of a negative angle is a negative sine of the angle. Omega d sine of phi. This is a plus as well. X omega sine of phi. So I have these two equations for the initial conditions, and that will allow me to find x zero and phi zero. So from one, I can find x zero cosine of phi, which is the initial displacement minus x cosine of phi. And from two, I can find x zero sine of phi sub zero. So I solve for that, and it's initial velocity plus x zero set omega n cosine of phi sub zero. This all divided by omega d. With those two expressions, we could find x0 and phi0, but we need to find x and phi from the particular solution. So let's do that. We know the definition of m, and we know the definition of x. x is f0 over k over m. We wrote it up there too. And m, which is the amplification factor, is equals to 1 minus r squared square plus 2 zeta r or that square. And we phi is the inverse tangent of zeta 2 zeta r over 1 over r squared. We have r is equal to 0 0.5 and we have zeta with 0 0.1 so we can introduce those values here in the expression for m and expression for phi and we get that m will be equals to 1.3216 and phi is equals to 0 0.1325 radians. We plug in these values in the equations that we have for x0 cosine of phi zero and x zero sine of phi zero and we find that x zero cosine of phi zero is 0 0.0345 and x zero sine of phi zero is 0 0.000099 that allows us to find that amplitude which is 0 0.0345 and the angle is equals to negative 0 0.0267 We finally have all the values for the homogeneous solution. We only need to find the amplitude for the particular solution. That's equals to F0 over K times the amplification factor. So that's 200 over 4,000 and the amplification factor is 1.3216 and that gives me an amplitude of 0 0.06608 and the phase angle 
using the invert tangent formula give me an angle of 0 0.1325 radians. Now we have all the elements to write our total response. And the total response will be equals to 0 0.0345 e to the negative 2t. That's zeta times omega n, omega d, which is 1989.98 times. minus this phase angle that gives me a positive value of 0, 0, 0.0267. Now the particular solution, which is 0 0.06608 0, cosine of 10, which is the forcing frequency, 0 0.1325, and that all is in meters. This is our total solution, and this is the answer for this problem. But let me graph these expressions for you to see how they look like, right? So we have the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. So these are the three graphs. The first one is the homogeneous solution, which is, you know, of the form x0 e to the negative zeta omega nt cosine of omega dt minus triangle the phase angle. The particular solution is equals to the magnitude cosine of omega t minus the phase angle that's equals to f0 over k the amplification coefficient cosine of omega t and the final solution is the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution important to notice that the homogeneous solution dies out after a certain time and that means that after that time that we don't have homogeneous solution we only will have the particular solution so this is what is called transient response when we have both response and then we have the steady state response when the homogeneous solution already died